tonight. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm a little scruffy tonight. Uh, it's just a late night. Um, what I thought we'd do is uh, some figure painting, maybe. Uh, figure painting's kind of a hard one uh, to pick up on. Uh, it takes a lot of practice, uh, a lot of patience. Uh, your first figure is not going to look good. I mean, uh, it takes a long time to, to, to get those techniques down. Now, I'm not the best at it. Uh, I am getting better at it. I do like certain things. I've, I've come up with uh, different techniques that I use that make it quick and easy. Um, some some of it works, some of it doesn't. Uh, but the the biggest part of figure painting is uh, patience, and uh, I like to strive for a certain bit of reality. I know a lot of the people that do figure paintings for solely do figure paintings use a lot of high contrast in their their figures to, to make them pop, and um, they really look good. Uh, Without a doubt, they look gorgeous. That's kind of my my style, but n not so much. Uh, I I don't make them to the point where they're such high contrast. I try to, to stay in a more realistic view. So, with that said, uh, we're gonna start uh, a little bit of figure painting, and uh, so. Uh, Let's, let's get going. Here's, here's uh, just a spare figurehead that I've got laying around. And I figured we'd, we'd get some work done on that. Uh, what we're going to do is prime it with some AK primer. Black. I like using black because uh, it, it kind of shows the uh, the shadows a little bit better. I, I paint a little bit better with black than the grays or things like that. We're going to be using uh, my standard. I I've, I've just like to use a dark shadow. I'll start out with uh, the medium tone flash or the base flash. And then these are a couple shadows. Now I'll mix, I'll mix white paint into it and uh, things like that. Figurehead, uh, it's all primed and uh, like black base on. And what we, I like to do is I'll the base tones, instead of just painting one base tone, I like to to do the underneath darker shadows, the top of the face, in uh, a lighter shadows and so I'll, I'll use my airbrush on that and uh, so what I'll do is I'll just mix a little bit of, of my dark tone in well, probably 50-50 it doesn't take much I'll put three drops of it in there in the well and uh, then I like to go in and I'll put in same amount of light tone in there and then we'll take a little bit of thinner and we'll put a couple drops of that in just to thin it out and that'll make a nice thinned out version of it for the base color. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll airbrush this base color on. Right there. We'll airbrush that base color on the whole thing. And then we'll go back in and we'll hit the highlights and the shadows on it. So what we'll do is we'll just
and it doesn't take a lot, just just lightly. You don't want to you don't want to cover up all the uh, the dark primer on it. Actually. I'm gonna I use that as a guide almost. Ears are always going to be light colored. And then, oops, not too much paint there. Too much paint there. And then just dry it out. There's no such things as. It's a horrible thing. I'm gonna let that dry out a little bit. While the compressor runs. Use our air to speed it up a little bit here. And uh I use light color paints, they, they dry pretty dead flat, and they're quickly easy to use. Just yeah. hit it with, with that dark. Now, right there, that's my base color. Now you can see how translucent and thin that is. Okay. You want to keep some of that shadow, that natural shadow, it's kind of a guide for you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go with a darker tone now, okay? And for that, we've got our base color in there. And you going to drop three more drops of dark tone in there. Well, just a couple drops of thinner. In the well, and then we'll mix that up. And we're going to get that darker tone now. Just like that. Okay, and now what we're going to do is... What, what, now what we're going to do is get another paper towel, because I can't find it. Okay. <clears throat> so... Here's a little trick to mix your paint. Just uh, hold it over the needle and blow a little air in. And then I'll, I'll blow that out. I'll mix it up. Mix it for you. Now, what we're going to do is hold in. We're going to go under the chin. Okay? And we're going to go. You don't want it up here. You don't want to spray it directly at the front of it. You want to go right up underneath where the natural shadows are be. Just yeah, like that. Nice and thin, nice and light. Remember, thin coats are your friend. Okay? Thin coats are your friend. I was off camera, I'm sorry. Another happy little accent there. And just blow it back down. Blow it back down. Let her dry out. Get her. A little bit of patience here on this. Move it back down. Let me give it some more. And then go up. Stroke up. Just like that. Just, just like if you were an artist with a, a regular brush. You just stroke up. Okay? 
Well, start off. Start down here. All the way down here. There you go. Up with it. Okay. Now you'll see. He, or at least I hope you can see that just in the bottom parts of this. Okay? Now you want to go and you want to turn it. You want to go up. And you want to turn it and go up. Okay? Just like that. And you turn it around here. This. Now this, this heavier paint that you're you're seeing, don't worry about that. That's kind of what you want a little bit. Just not the accents. You can correct that later on with brushes, and and you'll have you can't do all this with an airbrush. You gotta you gotta do some of it with with a paintbrush. Use the air now, dry it out. Okay, try not to build up too much. And then here, strike up with it. So, what you're getting is right in here. Okay? All those shadows. You don't get to see too much on the face. Okay? Just for a second. Now, We've got that darker tone on it that we want. Let me bring it in. Kind of hard to paint around the, the camera here, but that's what we have to work with. So you can see how it's getting a little darker. Now, what's going to really make this pop on this base coat is the lighter coat. Let's bring that back in to the fold here. Now we're going to take the lighter. And, and you notice that we haven't cleaned our well out yet. We're, we're still using those colors and we're building off of that. Now here we want to put, oh, I'll go about six or seven drops into that. And we'll take our brush here and we'll mix that up. Now that's going to be quite stark compared to the other color that we had. And that's going to really make a contrast. That'll make it make it stand out and make it pop more. Okay. So again um, Mix that a little bit. I want to put a little bit more thinner in it because we put that thicker paint in there so we want it to flow a little bit better. I want that to happen. Now, now what you want to do too on some of this is you want to, you want to spray a little bit of paint out. Okay, because what you're doing is you're spraying that last color out and you're bringing that next color in. Okay, now for this, we went this way. Now we're going to go on a highlight. So we're looking down. Now he's got a hat on, so it's a little different. So, but it's a little heavy on the spray, so let's, let's dial it down. Let's dial that spray down a little bit and we want, we want it just a real light light strokes light strokes really light too. see how light that is see how light that is so now we're gonna go like this and we want oh He's coming alive. Is he coming alive? I'm bringing him down from the top. And you can see him. 
picking up those features. And you see those features coming in. See those features coming in? Let me hold it up here. You start seeing the lights and the shadows and the highlights and the detail of the thing. You want to bring it from the top. And let our air compressor kick off here. Because it's noisy. As you can see. Yeah, he's starting to come into life here, just like that. Okay, so we want to come in from the top, just like that, just like that. His ears should be a little brighter. See this, this highlight, this natural highlight forming around the top of his face. And then stroke down. Start off. Start off up here. Don't don't start here. Start off here. Stroke in. You're just creating the shadows and the lights of his face. Okay. So this was just starting to really take shape. Okay. And what's nice about this technique is you, you get that smoothness out of the paint. It's not all globbed up. It's not thick and heavy. It looks, you know, sometimes you see that and it's like, man, holy cow, what happened to that guy? Did he get into an accident? So. cricket in my workshop. It's driving me crazy. Crazy. So now what we want to do, we want to go even lighter. We want to make his face even pop more. So what are we going to do? We're going to add pure white to that. It doesn't take much. One, two, three. We'll start there. We'll mix that up. See how that looks. If it's not Dark enough, we'll mix it some more. We we'll mix that in. Just like that. Yeah. I think I want it even whiter than that. I want to brighten him up. So we'll go quite a few drops in there. We'll see how that works. Now, this is. Remember, this is only base colors. This is only base. This, this is pre-brush work. What we're doing here, we're not even, we're not even into the fun stuff of the brushes. And we're gonna mix our paint up. And we're gonna blow a little bit here, and then, I'm not gonna put any more thinner in this because I think it's getting thinned down enough. But we gotta, we gotta spray, spray some through. Get that old paint out, and we're gonna get that new paint in. This is how we do it. Okay. So we cut that out. Now let's dial. Let's, here's here's my airbrush. Let's dial that back. It's my it's my stop. I I can't move that now. See so. Point that out. I can bring my stop back a little bit. Too much. Right there. And I can test it. You can see how it's playing. Nice and light. See? Nice and light. Nice, light, and bright. A little light bright. Off the, off the hat. Down with the stroke. Now. Now you're seeing them pop. Now you're seeing them pop.
who you're thinking you so. Oh my god, that's a lot of work. Well, yeah. It's a lot of work on it. Right. Anything worth doing is a lot of work. Now it doesn't take much on that. Probably want to stop right there, actually. Okay, I'll give it some air. Give it some air, I'll give it some air. And we'll see. We'll step back and step back and take a look at it and say, hmm, what do I do to do there? You know? So, can you see it? Can you tell? I can tell. It's a good base. It's a good starting point. He's been out in the sun a lot. It's tan. I don't know any GI that's out in combat that doesn't have a tan. It just doesn't work that way. And that's it on the base coat. Now, tomorrow we'll come in with a brush and we'll do all these details. We're sticking around for part one, okay? of the start of our, our painting tutorial, okay? Uh, Madman Merce painting tutorial. I, I think we got a good start. I think we got a good start on this guy, okay? And you can't tell right now because we got the Hirsch lights, you know, the Hirsch studio lights, so we can actually see what we're doing, you know? So, the biggest thing here is, is go to light. Go thin with your paints, okay? I like to use the airbrush to give it that base coat. I, I don't get any any brush strokes in my base coat because I want to go light with the paint. And it's it's all it just gets me that step ahead, I think, when I'm using the airbrush and I do the shadows from the underneath and the bright lights from the top. And it gives you those tonal effects that that I think it are missing in some some things. Um, my style is not going to be mm, big popping bright lights. You know, it's it's going to be more realistic flesh tones, and that's what I like. Now that's just me. Now if you like if you like your figures to pop and and be real bright, then by all means do it. Do what you like in your hobby. Don't do what I like. Don't do what everybody else likes. Do what you like. It's your hobby. And it should always be that way. It should always be what you enjoy doing and what makes you happy. So remember, whatever makes you happy in your hobby, go ahead and do it. Thanks for stopping by. Hit that like button and follow me on Facebook, A Models by Murph. And I, I'm glad that you, you, you stepped by and, and share these moments with me. So, God bless. Have a good time.